Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. While you're at it, give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone you think might like it. Now, let's hop Today, I am doing a full face of makeup using the new Tati Beauty Blendful. It comes in with two sponges. This is for your face. This is meant for touch up. It retails at $18, I think. This one is meant to replace all your face tools. It's, you're supposed to be able to apply creams, liquids, whatever with it, powders, um, your foundation, your concealer, your whatever on your face. It's meant to save you time. Um, it's very soft and it's flexible. It bends in every direction and it's a pretty good size that you can use all the corners to apply um, different products if you don't want to mix your products. And just off the bat, I feel like you can also use this side, like flip this over and use this side. So this is not your typical tool, but um, we're going to test it out today and see how I like it and if it probably might just be um, replacing my beauty blender so let's let's see how this works I'm on my way to work so I'm like I figure this is the best time to actually do this so I'm gonna apply some of my elf do me primer this has been one of my new favorite primers it's um, very similar to the milk hydro grip primer this primer is so great it's not dewy at all it just leaves your skin with a nice luminosity and it's kind of tacky. I, I love it. All right. So I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. Um, matte putty primer. e.l.f. just came out with a bunch of new primers. I don't know if you remember the original one, the poreless putty primer. I also have that one, but I'm loving this one. It's um, it's so soft. So Tati did mention that you can use your sponge to apply your more pore filling primers. So I'm going to actually do that and just apply it to the center of my face where I actually get um oily i'm not a big fan of matte primers but i've tried this one before and it works beautifully it's so soft so maybe i plan it to the sponge might be the best thing for me oh my god because i just picked up way too much well, it certainly pushed it into my skin it's very very dissolved <laughs> All right, so for my foundation, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Superstay foundation. I have really fallen in love with these foundations. I don't know. I don't know why I ever stopped using them. They're so beautiful on the skin. They last so well. It gives you all the coverage that you need. I've just been using this recently for the past two weeks. I'm just gonna mix a pump of each on my little mixing palette. And I'm just gonna apply it with my finger because I don't wanna use any brushes today. <laughs> Okay, so let's put this sponge to the test. I'm actually using the same set that I applied the primer with. And we are gonna... Did I mix this too light? I think I did. Whatever. Um, press this in. Right away, I can tell you um, <laughs> that I like the fact that I don't have to wet this. Because there have been so many times I sat down to, get my, to um, apply my makeup and I forgot to wet my sponge. And it's such a pain in the ass when you have to actually get up to go with that sponge. So I like that you don't have to wet this. Okay, so <laughs> this is what it's looking like. Not bad at all. So I, I like to punk my makeup in. Like I'm always punxing. So this tool is definitely going to take a little while to get used to pounding because it's so soft and it's thin and I'm more used to having like a beauty sponge in my hand that's, you know, has more body to it. So, so far, <laughs> it's going to take getting used to pouncing it in. Since I pounced that side, let me try swiping that side to see how it's going to actually apply it. Because I always like pushing my foundation in as opposed to swiping. So when I swipe, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm seeing like swipe marks on my face. So I think I have to still punch it in. Push it into my skin. But what I'm noticing is 
when I swipe it, it spread it out evenly and like slightly gave me more coverage from that side when I just pounced it in. But it could just be that I applied my foundation on that side. Either way, it's applying the foundation lovely. So this is what my skin is looking like. Um, it could be my uh, primer because the primer has such a nice um, luminosity to it that my skin looks so natural and soft. Um, I feel like I get more full coverage when I actually go in with a sponge or a brush from the foundation. But this like slightly softens, like it softened the way the makeup looks, the foundation looks on my skin. That's the word that I'm looking for. It's softened. It doesn't look like I am actually wearing foundation. Again, it could be a combination of the primer. This primer is a very, very nice primer. I'm actually seeing it shining through my foundation. All right, so let's move on to, should I add another layer? I'm just going to take the excess that's on the palette from the sponge and just apply it to the rest. Just to see how it will build a little bit in this area. Okay, not bad. All right. Okay, Tati, I see you. Right, so I'm gonna apply some concealer. I'm using my Jouer High Coverage Concealer. I'm gonna apply this in the usual areas underneath my eyes. My nose, a little bit on my forehead, and some on my chin. I have a smaller forehead, so I like to apply a little bit more of the highlight so my forehead can look bigger. So I use more highlights and less uh, contour, like bronzer and stuff, because my forehead is fucking small. So I usually let my concealer sit for a couple seconds or to a minute on my face so it can get tacky. That way I will get more covered. So I'm going to use my fan to speed up that process. Be tacky. So I'm just going to bend it to this side. I like how flexible this is and start blending now I usually use a brush for the center of my face because you may not be able to tell on camera but I don't have the biggest face in the world so I like using a brush because it's gonna get um, I can be very precise with the product to the center of my face so I like that this is like so flexible and bendy so I can get real precise with it for underneath my eyes it blended out like it's blended out beautifully I like the control I keep saying that I like the control I'm getting with the sponge that I can focus the product exactly where I want it to be I like that and I can get in every crease in my eyes that's that's wonderful that blended out lovely. It really did. So it certainly did not pick up a lot of the product. Obviously, the, like the product I placed on my face stayed there. There's not much um, that came out from my face, and I like the I like that um, because sometimes when you wet your your sponge and you probably accidentally just did not squeeze off enough water, when you go in to blend your foundation and your concealer, it it um. You can pick up some of the product on your face and you kind of have to like blend it over again so with this sponge this is just not going to happen i'm just taking the side that i actually applied the um, foundation on and just sort of blend the edges it really is blending nicely it's so smooth so now to set this i am taking my huda beauty powder i just thought of a comparison though like um I like setting my under eye usually with Madame sponge, but I bought this because this is this material is kind of very similar to this. Um, this is just it's, it's soft. This material is like kind of soft. This is a beauty blender sponge thingy, and I like it maybe for the rest of my face. But when it comes to underneath my eyes, you would think it would be nice because of the way it's shaped. But I don't like the way it picks up the powder. Like when I place it in the powder, it never picks it up evenly and it doesn't distribute it evenly on my face. So I do not like that. It's, I feel like it's, it could be more flexible. So I just thought I'd mention that in case you're someone who has one of those sponges. Um, it's a good sponge, but I feel like this, I love the way this is flexible. 
So I'm gonna take some of my sponge. I'm actually just going the same set that I used the powder, um, the concealer on. Picked up the powder, really nice. It's. Do you see the difference in this eye and this eye? Like. Do you see how soft that is? I mean, granted, Huda Beauty is a great powder, but this is so soft. I'm, just, I'm taking some of my Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora, and I'm gonna pick some up on a clean side and press it in the areas where I did not really apply, just to bring some color back to my skin. Just press it in. This is a very nice powder. I'm just doing this to set the face a little bit and to take off any tackiness because um, this is just going to allow my bronzer and stuff to go on smoother. Plus the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder is just really smoothing and it's a very nice finishing powder. So this is what my face is looking like now. And <laughs> it looks pretty damn good in my opinion. It really does. It's so soft and so smooth. Like really everything just blends nicely into each other using this sponge i can tell that off the bat like it just meshes everything really well so let's let's see if i can bronze my face and i'm going to be using my fenty beauty bronzer i'm picking up some on a clean side let's take off some on the back of my hand and let's press this bronzer in what the Shut the front door. I know I'm not the only one who's seeing this. It's like the bronzer already is already blended. Like I don't have to work hard with it. It's so soft. What? Is this happening? What? See how it's already blended on my face? It's so soft. I'm sorry. I don't know how much time can I say soft in this video, but I'm, I'm obviously impressed. Oh my God. Wow. Let's get rid of this double chin so I can hide my extra 15 pounds. Let's take some to the forehead. You guys, you 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 <laughs> you probably don't believe this as I I don't I, I can't believe this. I'm just putting it really really close to my hairline because, like I mentioned, I don't have the biggest forehead, but I just want to just even out everything. What? You see how it works on my nose? I know y'all seeing this like look at my face can you tell i didn't use a beauty blender today can you tell i didn't use a beauty blender today a booty blender i certainly can't so let's go in with some blush and i'm just gonna reach for some blush from my bh palette the pink ones and apply that over top what you know the tagline for this is no harsh lines look no harsh lines she knew exactly what she was saying like look at this just blends into the um the contour well that went on nicely you can like stipple and you still can swipe like gently swipe so you can actually use it the way you would actually use a brush you don't always have to pounce it like you can gently pounce and swipe it's very versatile i usually like to spritz my face before i actually go in with my highlight and i'm like i can say i'm getting ready for work i'm just doing something very basic today i just want to see how the product will actually work so i'm going to be using my ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting spray this thing is like amazing but i don't like the um the mist on it so i just transferred it to a different bottle so I'm just going to be using it off this bottle. So I usually um, set my face and when it's like halfway dried, I go in with my sponge to just press everything in. So we'll see how well this sponge will work at this. So now I can feel it drying. I'm just going to lightly press 
the product in. This is crazy. So far, so good. So let's continue. We're going with highlight, and I'm using Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Golden Flower Crown. And I'm going on a clean side. Pick some of this up and press that in. this I was just speechless a while ago because usually when I use a highlight I apply it with my brush then I will have to go over it with a, um, the sponge to soften it and push it into my skin and I clearly do not have to do that step so it saved me that step this sponge is saving me steps definitely saving me steps all right let me do it on this side so you guys can see this again do you see it's applying it and blending it and it's not leaving a stripe on my face it's just meshing everything together no harsh lines see this on my nose i love how makeup is just like getting innovative like a product like this i probably <laughs> this is almost like a, a, a puff like a, can i do this with a puff though this is what my face is looking like i'm not even going to apply the rest of my makeup um i'm going to do it off camera i just wanted to test out the face makeup here as i'm getting ready for work and am i impressed hell yes i am impressed so my thoughts on this product i love that you do not have to wet it does it save product? Yes, I believe that it did. Did it save me time? I mean, you just saw that. Um, oh my God, <laughs> I'm like speechless. Oh my God, let me get my thoughts together. Okay, so I'm just so used to applying my makeup with a sponge that this does, like I said in the beginning, it's it from my first application of just using this, it's gonna take some learning because it's not your typical product. If you're not used to this, you've never used this before, it's gonna take a while to get used to because I'm so used to holding a sponge in my hand. Will I use this sponge every day? I probably won't. Um, I probably would reach for it for certain steps in my makeup all the time, like the highlight. I love the way it blended my contour and my highlights and stuff like that. I probably still would always reach for a beauty sponge or my brush. I would incorporate this. Um, in my routine definitely the way how it's flexible I was very impressed with the way it applied my concealer like I can get really really precise and really push that into my skin I really liked that about it this could easily be the sponge for all us busy female hustlers out there you're always on the rush but you still want to look put together if you're a beginner especially I would really recommend this sponge for you because you can do everything and if you're someone who doesn't have a million steps in your routine like me you just basic with your foundation with, with your um, makeup routine this would definitely definitely be like really really handy in your kit i would recommend that you get it like it would just make everything so much more easier for you especially if you're someone who doesn't um know the use of brushes and what they're for and and whatnot which picking off which i did do a brush video i will link it in the description box like you know going more in depth with brushes and stuff like that but if you're someone who is not like good with, with brushes and the tools and what they're for and it's just confusing this could be very 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 instrumental in your makeup routine um when it comes to cleaning i would leave how it, how it, um i would leave how it was cleansed in the description box so you all would know but i'm a person who whenever i'm using my beauty sponge anyway i always clean it every single use i just don't like using a, a um a dirty beauty sponge so on that note that's a con for me because i would have to wash this after i'm done using it so it can be dry to use it the, the next day because i will not use use it when it's dirty like that to apply my makeup um so that's a con for me um so i would definitely have to wash it so that it would dry overnight because it doesn't dry instantly whereas opposed to your beauty sponge you use it when it's damp so whenever i wash it it's damp as i want it to be so i can wash it in the morning before i use it because i want it to stay damp so that's the only con if that matters to you um, if you're someone who probably just use one side you could actually just flip off this this thing and use it to the other side and you probably could use it two uses before you actually wash it and if you're someone who don't care then then that's fine but would I recommend this sponge of course I'm very very impressed with the way it worked on the way it applied my product it really blend 
everything into the other there was no harsh lines on my face you guys witnessed me applying my products with this definitely definitely a yes but just bear in mind it's not your typical sponge not your typical brush so you'll have to get used to applying it and the more you use it the more you probably get used to it and you'll probably be loving this and this will be ending up in your 2020 beauty favorite products um so that's my review on this um let me go complete my makeup and leave this house so yeah so try it um maybe if you did leave leave a comment in the description box and tell me how you feel about it tell me your thoughts about it or not if you love it or not um yeah so thank you so much for watching i hope you like this review please like comment share all that good stuff it really helps and i really really appreciate it all the links to my social media will be in my description box how to book me i'm a nail tech and a makeup artist here in brooklyn <laughs> So uh, thank you so much for watching and until then, let's continue to touch the world one face at a time, sweet Jesus. Anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.